Hi, I'm Natalia and welcome to today's episode. Did you have a nice Thanksgiving? And try to figure out what to do with all of those leftovers with your turkey? Or are you being proactive and planning ahead of time what to do with all of those turkey leftovers? Whenever I cook turkey, I end up with pounds and pounds and pounds of turkey for a lot of people that I make. Um, so while everybody takes stuff home, leftovers are inevitable to have. So in today's episode, I'm about to show you three amazing recipes of what to do with turkey leftovers. Yay! Problem solved. That's what I'm here for. So the three recipes will be a turkey mushroom barley soup. Delicious, super fast to put together. The recipe number two is a turkey pear Waldorf salad. And the next, the last recipe, but not the least, amazing turkey cranberry panini. So let's get going. We're going to start with our soup. So I have 16 ounces of baby bella mushrooms. So I'm going to roughly chop these up. We are going to use the bones from the turkey. So make sure that you save all of those bones. We're going to make a mirepoix. A mirepoix is a mixture of 50% onion, 25% carrot, and 25% celery. So I'm going to get to chopping, and then I'll show you how we're going to assemble the soup. All right, so I chopped the mushrooms. There's our mirepoix, 50% onion, 25% carrot, 25% celery. I have some th fresh thyme leaves here. And now we're ready for our bones from the turkey. So depends on how you butcher it and get all the meat of the bones. I recommend getting as much as you can off. But a lot of the bones are loose at this point. So I'll show you a trick. We take this cheesecloth and we're going to put the bones inside the cheesecloth so that we're going to infuse this broth. So we're gonna get as much flavor out of the bones without having any of the little tiny pieces of these bones potentially falling off and, because we, we're not gonna have an opportunity to strain this soup, right? So we're just gonna put all the bones and make this, tie this in a knot So instead of bouquet garni, which is a sachet with a bunch of herbs and spices and stuff, we have a bouquet de bones. And now we're just going to wrap this twine around, cut it right here, and we're going to put this inside the broth. So now, so again, to repeat, to make this soup, we have 16 ounces of baby bella mushrooms chopped. We have, I had small onions, so we had two onions chopped, a couple of small carrots, and about three to four celery stalks. We have bones from my 15, ounce, 15 pound turkey right here. See, nothing is now is going to escape. So this is going into the pot. We're going to put the rest of the vegetables also in the pot, and we're going to fill it with water. So now this is a mushroom barley soup. There's several different types of barley that you can use. If you use regular barley, put it in, and you're going to cook the soup for about an hour to an hour and a half until barley softens. I have quick barley right here, which cooks in 10 minutes, so we're going to cook the soup for about an hour so that the broth really gets nicely infused. And after an hour, we're going to add the barley and cook it for another 10 minutes or until the barley softens. So let's go ahead and put all of the stuff into the pot. The bones are going in, and the mushrooms are going in. And our mirepoix is going in. And we fill it with about 10 to 12 cups of water. Perfect. I would say don't worry about seasoning the soup right now. Might add just a little bit more liquid, but we don't want the soup to be super liquidy. And don't worry about seasoning it right now because we will adjust the seasonings after this broth gets infused with all of these flavors. And then we can add our salt and pepper and we're going to put it up and let it 
simmer for about an hour. Okay, so we have our soup ready. And as you can see, I'm pulling the bones out of the soup. We're ready to serve our beautiful soup. Oh, this is amazing. So much flavor. So we're rolling into the next recipe, which is a turkey panini. We have our turkey breast. So let me tell you first what is going to go into the panini. So we have our turkey breast, so we're gonna slice that up. We have some prosciutto. We have some cranberry sauce. We have some fresh mozzarella cheese. And we are going to make a pesto aioli. So let's start on putting together. Let's start with the aioli first. So we're going to take some pesto, just a couple of spoonfuls is fine. You can use pre-made pesto. We just want to create a really nice sauce for the for our turkey. Really, really delicious. Create the base. So we're going to create a base for our sauce. We're going to use a couple of, like a tablespoon of mayo. I'm going to use about a tablespoon of the pesto. Pre-made pesto is fine. About a tablespoon of olive oil. We're going to mix it all together. So this is going to give a really nice and completely unexpected flavor to this panini. Beautiful. Okay. So we're going to set this aside. I'm going to slice the mozzarella very thin. If you have Grated mozzarella, that's fine. I just like the idea of little shavings of this mozzarella on the turkey. How much? It depends on the size of your bread. All right, so we have some of these shavings of mozzarella. I'm going to take this turkey breast and get some very thin slices of turkey. Because the thinner the slices are, it's just the easier it will be to manipulate this panini. And the thin slices of turkey was going to work so nicely with thin slices of prosciutto. Beautiful. All right, let's see. All right, and we are ready to assemble our panini. So I'm using this really nice sourdough bread. We're going to take our pesto and Spread it on both sides is great. So then on one side, we're going to put our cranberry sauce. This is going to be yummy, yummy, yummy. Amazing. Meanwhile, I hope that you have your panini grill preheating. I have mine on the side preheating. So cranberry sauce, and then we're going to put the turkey right on top. So this is how we assemble our panini. Turkey right on top here. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be delicious and super easy. This is gonna be make a really nice lunch and not a boring kind of lunch. So now I top the turkey with prosciutto. Okay, beautiful. And now we're going to top the, this with some mozzarella cheese, shaved. Nice. You know what? I'm going to actually shave a couple of more slices here just to put on top so that everything you want, you kind of want to have everything to have a very uniform thickness. And we put this piece on top. And I'm going to show you how to grill this in our panini press. So I have my panini press set up. And just to give even extra flavor to this bread, 
What I did is I melted some butter and I have the silicone brush. By the way, having a silicone brush is such a great tool that you can have at home. So I'm just brushing the press with a little bit of butter because I know that that's just going to add extra flavor and crispiness to my panini. All right, taking the sandwich, put it in here and pressing. And now we're going to wait about three, four, five minutes until it's done. Okay, so it's been about four minutes and look at this panini. Oh my gosh, looks amazing. I cannot wait to try it. So beautiful. Ah, it is hot, definitely, definitely hot, but looks amazing and I cannot wait to taste this. Yum. All right. Right there. Look at this. Beauty. Our turkey cranberry basil pesto panini. I love filming days. I'm just so pumped and energized to create this stuff for you so that you can benefit. Okay, In, so I love Waldorf salad. It's such a great salad. So traditionally I make my Waldorf with chicken and grapes and celery and uh, some mayonnaise, some dressing, so, and walnuts. And today we're gonna use our turkey. So I have two cups of this turkey breast meat. We're gonna chop this up. Amazing, amazing, delicious turkey. I like to chop it fairly small for this salad. Just kind of nice bite-sized. All right, so we have our turkey chopped. Next, we are going to, I'm gonna wipe my surface and I'm gonna cut up, chop up two pears, a shallot, and two stalks of celery and about half a cup of pecans. All right, so we have our two cups of turkey. Uh, I use the breast, but you can use white meat or dark meat, whatever you prefer. Chopped in a bowl. I have a couple of these beautiful pears, nice and ripe, chopped. I have one shallot chopped. I have half a cup of pecans chopped. So putting everything into the bowl. And we're going to mix it. The dressing is gonna be very, very simple. Very simple. It's half a cup of mayonnaise and a half a cup of plain yogurt. And then we're going to um, season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. This is so delicious. When I first made this recipe and brought it over to my friends to taste, they were blown away. Very refreshing variation to the traditional Waldorf salad and a great way to utilize your turkey leftovers from your Thanksgiving dinner. And here we are, we turned our turkey leftovers into three sophisticated, delicious meals. We have our turkey cranberry pesto panini, we have our amazing turkey pear Waldorf salad and the yummy licious turkey mushroom barley soup. Hope you enjoy these. Please subscribe to the channel, share this video, share the love, and I invite you to live a deliciously healthy life. Bye for now.